Okay, um, I'm not going to present any of the results. I actually had the chance yesterday in one of the past sessions where I present one of the sun initial results from the Millennium System Assessment of Spain that we started already two years ago. So I'm just going to present some of where we in this concept project type of things in Spain. Um, we just finished our phase phase of the project, uh, actually last week in our period we present our synthesis report and I have one copy here and if you want to have a look at it, I don't have many more. Um, in Spanish only. Is it only in Spanish at the moment? We, it was a hard work yes, to do it in Spanish at the moment. <laughs> so we don't have any English version but we, we certainly going to work on it to, yeah. to come in the future with it. Uh, so we just did this synthesis report, it's uh, 300 pages, it's quite it's big. And one technical report where we compile everything with more than 2,000 pages. And this is the work of more than 20 institutions and 60 researchers in two and a half years of work. And as I said, I mean, hopefully we're going to bring some English version summaries of this English version of the size summaries. And at the moment, if you want to check those websites, you can download the synthesis report. Then if you know in Spanish, and it, you know more about our work. Um, the theme of the project was basically, this is from the demand of the Ministry of Environment in Spain. And um, well, we have a coordination team of the universities and the Biodiversity Foundation, who is the, the one that paid for the project. And we have two type of group, one technique and one communication group and we at the beginning had this international panel that assess how to go through the process of this assessment and then we developed like a core group of technical people that is included all the ecosystem all the ecosystem specialists, all the uh, drivers of chains specialists and all the biodiversity, so all, all type of groups that we identified, and, and one integration group that, that was our core team of people. And we have all these workshops and different sources of information that we work on. It. Sorry, it's not everything in Spanish. <coughs> and we have a communication team that it was directly working with <coughs> all kind of decision makers, business people, NGOs, and all their stakeholders in society. And they bring some materials of, from our office. Okay, so what Leon told me that well, you have to say very quickly what you have done and what you haven't done. Well, what we have done is just, it was very hard at the beginning to define the terms and the concept because all these services, concepts, is very new and everyone has their own definitions and their own ideas and we have to have a lot of work just to, to really define what are the concepts, who, who, how are we going to do it, and, and it was a lot of work on that. And develop the methods, okay, we agree on those concepts and those definitions and how we're going to do it now. Uh, we then identified ecosystems, especially ecosystem maps and everything, and we evaluate the, ser the services. And we also did a deep analysis on what are the consequences and effects that has the greater or conserve those services with some specialists and then the communication strategy. What we haven't done is any economic evaluation. It was a big discussion at the beginning in Spain if we should go through the beginning of this or not. Or we have a lot of arguments and we decided not at this stage because we thought we didn't have clear ideas and concepts at the beginning. It was too complex to go at the same time for economic evaluation and ecological evaluation. So we decided first to you know, like make the framework to agree on that and then go to economic evaluation. That was our decision. Hopefully, when it, probably in the future, this is going to happen somehow. And uh, we didn't do yet any future scenario, although it's one of the first things that we want to do in this second phase of the project. And we didn't map any of the, our services, we just mapped the ecosystems and the changes that has happened on, on those. Okay, so what the work program, as I said, it was like we started the mid 2009 and we just finished our first phase in two and a half years. 
And the first half year, it was just meetings on the concepts, terms, methodologies. So, so we just have a huge group of people working on, on agreements on that. Last year was really the, the core group of the assessment of the ecosystems, and, and, and we have a lot of workshops and, and things. And this year has been a lot of challenge on the reports and integration of all the results of the assessment. So this year has been also only on integration analysis and reporting. Okay, so uh, for us, the, we, we really went to this MA approach with this conceptual framework that you all, of course, know. But for us, it was a bit a huge challenge to, to introduce this framework in, in the policy making in Spain. So it was a lot of work just to present the framework that we all know now, but it was a lot of work to introduce those in these stakeholders, policy makers, business people, or things like that. There is this interrelation between natural capital, human well being, what are the drivers? And so we do a lot of communication strategies to present and break those, or bring some bridges on, on these things. And, and I think we, we have done some good work on that. So we define 14 types of ecosystems. Is uh, well eight terrestrial, like three type of forests, which is a little bit different from the uh, millennium of the UK, because we we went through you no, know, we didn't go through habitats. We really want to do some ecological distribution. You no, know? so we we have three type of forests, two type of mountains, one type of fire ecosystems, <coughs> arid zones, and insular ecosystems, and then. Three types of continental aquatic, river, wetlands, and aquifers, and one type of coastal and marine. And we also include the urban as an ecosystem. It has a different conceptual type of, of from the rest. But we also thought that it was a very important part to include it, how it's interrelated with the rest of the ecosystem. We map then, we use we, we map also the change that has happened in the last 50 years for these ecosystems and this is really not a map that is trying to be very very much ecological but it, it was like a representation of what is our natural capital in Spain. I mean like everyone will have representation there and it was the type of, of distribution that it was somehow ecologically defined but also it was easy to present it to any anyone that could be, you know, like link it to, to that ecosystem. Any stakeholder could represent it there. We evaluate the two types of ecosystems. We have a lot of discussion if this is in, in service or not, it's biodiversity, whatever, it's a provisioning, what, whatever. At the end, we define our 22 type of ecosystems and eight provision and service seven regulated service and seven cultural service that we thought that they were the more broad, the more simple, and, and we have clear data that we could work on those. There is also some multi-scale analysis. There is three cases of studies, especially in the southern part of Spain. There's some posters and papers that can be presented in one part of, in the central part. And there were two sub-regional evaluations that they were, I mean, we didn't do the work, but they, they did the work and we've been in, in close collaboration, which is the Vizcaya evaluation, which is some people is here presenting the results also, and some of the Catalonia coast. And, well, we are very happy to see that this has been evolving in, in Spain, which, I mean, this type of project has been like, is, and, and it's happening like in other regions of Spain now, they're going to start, Andalusia has started already. The Canary Islands is also in the process to start, and the same thing that Basque Country is probably going to start their whole evaluation of ecosystem assessments. Uh, well, I'm not going to go through all, any, any of the methodological approach, but just to present, at the end we, we have a lot of challenges to not present just the results from individual ecosystems, regular chains, and all those things that are, you know, separate chapters. And we did a lot of work on the integration of all of these units of the project. So 
So we try to, well, we did it through indicators, but we did have a lot of work on statistical analysis. What are the interrelations with the services, with the human well-being and the biodiversity? And we, we have done a lot of work on those integration of the results that I presented yesterday. Uh, you can visit our website. It's, it's there, comilenia.es, and there's a lot of information there of our work. And I just want to put it like, well, represent some of the people that have worked with a lot of people there in the institutions and just to say that. Okay, thank you.